Hi, uh, this is Mike Tran. Um, today I will be showing you uh, a little bit of uh, the Recap API functionality. Uh, we'll, we will especially look at the uh, Recap API export method um, and we'll go into a little bit of details on uh, how to get started and where to get help um, and uh, show you a little bit of the uh, coding that's involved in uh, getting data out of RedCap. So what we want to do is basically export uh, data out of RedCap. But um, if you look at the API documentation, uh, you should be able to get a little bit more information or detail on the specific methods um, you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and slide over the um, page I have up here. <clears throat> All right, so uh, in order, let's start from here. Basically, uh, in order to use uh, RedCap API, you want to uh, know what the capabilities are and what the requirements are, the parameters and uh, details that you have to know to use the API. Uh, what you want to do is, uh, once you create your, or actually once you log to RedCap, um, you can just go to slash API slash help. And that will get you to the default API documentation. From here, uh, what you can do is go ahead and uh, click on the API examples if you don't, if you want to, you know, just see some of the examples that's available. Uh, I've already downloaded the um, examples. You can save. I've already downloaded all the examples onto, um, and then unzipped it onto this folder here. Uh, you know, I guess the language written in uh, for RedCap is PHP, so I'll just choose PHP for now. And as you, as you can see, there's a, there are many examples here that you can use. Uh, or just kind of see the code, see what's going on with it. Um, today, we're just working on um, exporting records, just to keep it uh, fairly, I guess, fairly simple and straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and open this file here. Um, Actually, I already have it open, so let me go ahead and open Visual Studio and have this file open already. Uh, <clears throat> so the requirements for uh, exporting record, as you can see, is that um, let's see, export records. These are the required parameters. A token is required, and I'll show you how to get that in a second here. A content, what, what we're trying to get. We're trying to get records. Uh, the format that um, that we're sending to the RedCap API and the type. So, um, anyway, anyway, let's switch back to our Visual Studio. Um, okay, now export underscore RedCap. Uh, I mean, <laughs> records.php file. Uh, we have defined this API key, and to get this API key, you have to create a new project in RedCap. So let's go ahead and create a new project in RedCap here. Well, I don't have to create, but you go ahead and you create it. And once you get your um, project, you go down to API, and you can just generate the API key. You guys can view this API key. I'll probably delete this um, uh, API key afterwards anyway. So. Um, there's no confidentiality loss here. But anyways, you can generate another token if you wanted to or delete token. But if you don't see this, that means you'll get an option to go ahead and create an API token. Let's just go and delete this token and see what happens from the very beginning. So you're going to have to create an API token. You get to choose the option you want to import and export. Ability to, you know, um, grab information and insert information into this uh, project. And just go ahead and create token. All right, so once you get your token, you can use that token in your code. So the one thing that's required, well, one of the four, is the token ID or the token string. Um, once you go ahead, once you have that, you can paste it into the code. So this is the default. This is the example that they provided to us. Um, what we want to do is you export the record. Uh, tokens require the content, of the record, record of the project, formats in JSON, type is flat. You can look at that documentation as well to see what its meaning is. 
uh, and all the detail that's required. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and um, see what other options I've kind of added here. See, I've added some um, some optional uh, parameters to this uh, request here. This payload. Um, you can view all the all the optional um, uh, parameters here as well. All the return format, um, all that jazz. So, anyways, uh, so that we create a variable and, and it's an array holding all the the piece of uh, information that's required. Once that's done, basically what you what we're doing here is we're using curl to initialize the URL, um, set the uh, method to post. Um, in this case, because we're testing this. Um, you know, just grabbing some data. We don't have SSL set up, but you could have SSL set up. So uh, I'm basically turning it off so that I can, um, so that recap's okay with it. So then we're building the query, uh, building the query out, and it's going to basically concatenate all the fields and you know do the um, proper uh, format for sending this payload to Redcap, Redcap's API. Um, when that once that happens, um, we can just go ahead and print it out just to test see this thing here. So um, again, I've, you know, some of the requirements is that obviously you have to have a local web server so you can kind of run this code here. Uh, I use uh, WAMP, and, or you can use you know, you know, XAMPP or whatever other um, Apache server or any other server you want to, IIS, etc. Um, but uh, I have this on my local instance, and I'm just going to go ahead and run it here um, using the Firefox developer edition. All right, so all right, I'll go ahead and fire that off. So as you can see, uh, it's local. Uh, this is my port. Um, I placed the, the application on the app, and uh, what happened was that I grabbed the record record one from Redcap project. So where where's all this information coming from? Um, I've added that in prior to this lesson, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. Um, so this project here, this is what it's grabbing from. This um, all the information is from this one Redcap project. Obviously, the API ties to this project. So if I look at the records, it's a dummy record right here. All the information is here. And what you can do is you can um, download the data all basically programmatically here via this script. Um, so let's just, um, just go back here. And that's pretty much it um, as far as being able to export um, a red red cap record. You, if you, you know, if you have multiple records, you can um, you can choose to download all records. So let's just say, for example, we have um, two records. So let's into another one. <clears throat> just some random data. So now we have two records. All right, let's go back to Visual Studio here. So what we're saying is download all record, but you can choose specific ones. Let's see here, um, all records. If we don't have anything here, let's just say we put quotes blank. It's gonna down default and download all. Um, so let's see if that. Let's see if that. Um, I gotta change that string. So as you can see, it's downloading uh, record one and record two. So again, if you just want the first record or the second record, you would change the code, but um, that's up to you. See how we chose record number two only, and has returned record two. 
So uh, obviously, you know, these are as far as this um, tutorial is mainly for uh, developers who are interested in working with uh, RedCap uh, data or um, you know, specific functionality in RedCap. Um, but um, if there are developers that it has interacted with the uh, certain institutions, um, it's a very good way to transfer data or um, get data out of a certain project. Um, anyways, if you have any questions or uh, concerns, um, you can email us at uh, redcap at vc.edu. Um, training is available weekly. Uh, we have it on our research portal page. and You can go here directly to learn about it. Um, we posted some information uh, right after our session, like today. So um, and it's always refresh and change, so this information uh, is not fail. And so just come back and join us. And that's it. Thanks, and have a nice day.